This is a periodic table, and it consists of rows and columns. One of the most common elements in the, in the periodic table are boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. These elements are located on the second row of the um, periodic table. To determine the amount of bonds it has, you can look at the um, spaces between the um, elements. So for example, if I wanted to like find out what the amount of bondings there are in boron, I would count one, two, three. So there are three bondings in boron. Boron is smaller than carbon. Boron has five protons, carbon has six, nitrogen has seven, oxygen has eight, fluorine has nine, and neon has 10. So for oxygen, it can make about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two bonds. A carbon would have six. It's the sixth element in the periodic table, so that would mean that it has six neutrons, six protons, and they would have about 12 grams, which would equal one mole for a carbon. Hydrogen dreams to be helium. Carbon dreams to be neon. So oxygen is the eighth in the periodic table. That means it has eight neutrons, eight protons, and 16 of grams, which equals one mole for an oxygen. Nitrogen dreams to be neon. One mole for any element in the periodic table will be more the more lower you go. And like, I think boron would have four, oh, five, sorry. Five neutrons, five protons, and 10 grams, which would equal one mole for, well, Brora. Oxygen dreams to be neon, fluorine dreams to be neon. What I like about the periodic table is that how, how many things you can learn from it, like the moles, how you can change one of the elements into different forms. Like if I just wrote O would stand for oxygen, C would stand for carbon, S would stand for sulfur, F would stand for fluorine, so I don't use fluorine that much. But like, if I wanted to make my own little atom that might not exist, then I can start going down and drawing models of it and I can make my own. And then I like attaching more and making it into different um, molecules. And it's really fun to find out what exists and what doesn't.